We shall see him as he is by Thomas Boston from human nature in its fourfold state. We shall see him as he is. 1 John chapter 3 verse 2 Then we shall behold him who died for us that we might live forevermore, whose matchless love made him swim through the Red Sea of God's wrath to make a path in the midst of it for us by which we might pass safely to our heavenly Canaan. Then we shall see what a glorious one he is who suffered all this for us. Then shall we be more able to understand how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love really is. When we shall fully realize that the waters of wrath which he was plunged into are the wells of salvation from whence we draw all our joy, that we have received the cup of salvation in exchange for the cup of wrath which he drank, how will our hearts leap within us, burn with seraphic love, as heaven resounds with our songs of salvation. We shall eternally, without interruption, feast our eyes upon him and be ever viewing his glorious perfections. In him we shall see everything desirable and nothing but what is desirable. We shall look into the heart of God and there see the love he bore to us from all eternity, and the love and goodness he will bear to us for evermore. We, who are heirs of God, the great heritage, shall then enter into a full possession of our inheritance, and the Lord will open his treasures of goodness unto us, that our enjoyment may be full. We shall not be stinted to any measure, but the enjoyment shall go as far as our enlarged capacities can reach. We shall be fully satisfied and perfectly blessed in the full enjoyment of divine goodness. Our love to the Lord, being purified from the dross of self-love, shall be most pure. We will be all love when we come to the full enjoyment of God in heaven by intuitive and experimental knowledge of him, by full participation in the divine goodness. The enjoyment of God and the Lamb will be ever fresh and new to us through the ages of eternity. For we shall all drink of living fountains of waters when new waters are continually springing up in abundance. Our joy shall be pure and unmixed, without any dregs of sorrow, solid and everlasting, without interruption. We shall swim forever in an ocean of joy, where we shall see nothing but joy wherever we turn our eyes. The presence and enjoyment of God and the Lamb will satisfy us with pleasures forevermore and will afford us everlasting delight. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Psalm 16 verse 11.